Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, we are at this time of year when we get news of the worst passwords or what we call the most used passwords on the internet and of course that means if you are using one of these passwords you need to change it because you'll get hacked for sure. So of course every year we get a list of passwords that have been used and that list changes very very little year over year. In fact if you look at the list of the top 10 passwords it hasn't changed much in the past 30 years actually. So people still are using passwords that are problematic that should not be used and here they are um, by most popular to least popular. So of course the winner is 123456 if you're using that password you will get in trouble at some point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is the next one. QWERTY, which is the uh, upper left uh, five letters of your keyboard, QWERTY. Password, yes, that's a great idea to use password as a password, eh? Uh, one, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, every variant here. A, B, C, one, two, three, uh, password one, all the variants of, you know, one, two, three, four, five, Zero 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 zero. I love you. And one two three four. So these are the passwords to avoid. They are the most used passwords right now, and that probably looks like what I was talking last year, the year before, the year before, and so on. It is pretty crazy. Of course, if we continue a little bit, there's uh, this one Q two W three E and so on, which is a mix of the QWERTY keyboard and the numbers at the top. So people think this is really good. No, it's not. Uh, QWERTY UOP, so all the uh, letters at the top row of the North American uh, keyboard. Monkey and Dragon also are making the list this year. So, uh, you know, if you're using any of those passwords, you really need to change it. Um, and, you know, I see it year over year over year. It's extremely important to have good passwords. And I don't know how many times I've been told, well, you know, I oh, I use this email just for that. So even if I, you know, get hacked, I don't care. You should because it puts your friends at risk. It puts your family at risk. You might lose control of your email and then your family or friends will receive, uh, you know, phishing scams where they can actually lose money. They might uh, think it's you asking for money and send money to some, you know, bad guy somewhere there's much more implications than your little world and that is something that always surprises me how people think about themselves but don't really think about the impact it has on everybody else around them because that's the world we live in and that's how things are so you got to be careful because if you're not not only you can be bitten but if you lose control of it and you don't care well family and friends can be bitten by the bad guys so make sure you use a good password the best password, well, to construct the best password, we're going to actually have a video about that today because I think many of you out there have no idea how to do a good password. And yes, I know it's really sad that you're using passwords that are difficult to understand and, you know, you're getting mad because you got to remember those passwords and so on. Well, I'm sorry, but that's the world we live in. You got to make an effort if you want to stay safe. And of course, uh, two-factor authentication very 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 important we'll also have a video on that today you know i um have some someone uh told me the other day you know you kind of repeat some of the videos like every year and uh yeah i gotta because there's new viewers to the channel that might not have seen the older ones and you know what it's good to have a refresh of some of the basics of using computers and being on the internet because uh, even people that think they're good, well, they're probably really crappy at it and uh, think they are good. So you got to be, uh, you know, careful. Once again, these are the passwords that should be avoided at all cost. If you do use one of these, well, if you recognize one of the passwords, you aren't doing the good thing and you'll be, of course, hacked. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.